So in today's question of the day, this is one of our mini simulations that are included in any of our uh, MCQ packages or any bundle that includes the questions. So this is a question about changes in accounting estimates. So here's the question. B Company is preparing its December 31st Year 3 financial statements. All adjustment amounts are made are material, and the company justified all of the changes. No prior adjustments have been recorded. Record the required Year 3 journal entry related to the reimbursement provision. So here's what it's talking about. B Company provides credits to credit to its customers. The customer agreement requires the customer to pay a $40 penalty for late payments. A year two court decision indicated that the penalty was excessive and gave customers reimbursement recourse for this charge. The company recorded a year two provision of a million dollars for the reimbursements, which constituted the company's estimated total liability. In the first quarter of year three, the expected claims increased by 25% over the initial estimate. Now going through this, uh, first of all, we can narrow this down by 25% over the initial estimate. That immediately gives us a number of 250000 So we only have uh, three options. A $250,000 provision expense, one for a penalty charge liability, and one for retained earnings. So the entry to record this increase in the estimate, first of all, the debit is to the expense. You're going to debit the $250,000 to provision expense. This is a change in accounting estim in an accounting estimate, so that means that it is prospectively applied or currently and prospectively applied. So it's in the current period, we're not going to adjust prior year figures. So this retained earnings, we're not gonna, we're no, we know we're not gonna use that. The retained earnings, that would only be adjusted when we have retrospective application of a change in an accounting principle. This is a change in an accounting estimate. So we're going to increase the liability. If we check this, that's what we come up with. There are a few things to explain on this. So the debit provision, you, you debit the provision expenses for $250,000. You credit the liability. So here's, let's, let's talk about why this is. So to explain a little bit more, just to clear this up, this was a change in an accounting estimate. There are three ways to report changes or errors in accounting. So first of all, you have a change in an accounting principle or a change in reporting, reporting entity. And these would be a retrospective application of the change. So that means that you record the effects of the change on prior years. Usually it means adjusting the retained earnings somehow. And then the financial statements from the previous periods are restated that contain the new figures as if that change had been applied in previous periods. So again, you use retrospective application when you have a change in an accounting principle or a change in the reporting entity. Prospective application, this is the easiest, the most simple. This, this is used when you have a change in an accounting estimate. That's something like a change in you, you change your estimate of depreciation or, you know, this warranty, in this example, the warranty uh, liability. So you, ch you apply the change in the current period and no past amounts are adjusted. The third one is restatement. So this is specifically for errors made in prior years. If accounting errors are detected in, in their material, the effects of the error are recorded and the financial statements are restated. So going back to this specific example, uh, the warranty liability, so that you can understand this, it works similar to the when you're dealing with doubtful accounts and the allowance. So you have the liability that's estimated, and to create that amount, you 
you debit the expense account for that. And then you credit the liability. When you actually pay out claims because it like towards that liability that you are debiting the liability. So this, this is what it looks like to record the liability. Initially you would, you would debit a warranty expense, let's say for 250,000. Then you would credit the accrued warranty liability. When you actually have claims that are paid on that, on those warranty claims, you would then, you would then debit the liability to lower it and you would credit cash because you're, you're paying out, you know, you're paying out money to those claims. So, so that is how that works. The first, the original, uh, journal entry to record the liability is a debit to the warranty expense and the credit to the warranty liability. And then when you pay the claims, you're going to debit the liability and credit cash or, you know, however that was paid out.